Everybody and welcome to another episode of the Couch Warrior Podcast. As always, I'm your host, Mike, and today I am with Wes Schultz, who's going to be competing on the Contender Series this up next upcoming week, actually. How are you doing, Wes? Thanks for coming on the show. Oh, doing great. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so before we get into your Contender Series fight, which I'm super excited about, let's talk a little bit of how you got into MMA. So I know you come from a wrestling background. Is MMA something you were always into, or is that something that came later on? I was never into MMA. Uh, I just ran out of eligibility for like college, and uh, man, I just I don't like coaching. I kind of tried. It. I fucking hate it. I I don't like it. Uh, and saw like another alumni who was fighting told me to come into to a local gym, and uh, yeah, I was fucking hooked. So that was it. Just pulled up to the gym, and after that, stuck with it. Yep. Nice. What, what was that gym that you started at? I didn't work up in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Cool. And you're not there anymore, right? No, no. I, I'm with Pervita in Milwaukee. How's that? It's fucking great, man. We got a shitload of middleweights. In fact, it was like, yeah, I, I got a shitload of training partners my size, just like throughout the city as well. Like mm-hmm. different gyms. Uh... Who stands out as like a training partner? Who do you normally work with? I usually work with... Uh... Nick Klein, he's one of our middleweights at Pura Vida, and then Dylan Debets, uh, another one of our middleweights. We actually wrestled each other in college a few times. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Are you are you training full time now? I mean, I, I body time, but that's like you know, body time doesn't get by in like twenty five hours a week. So I mean, I have plenty of time. I'm usually in the gym twice a day, and then I, I'm like, my work's like weekend heavy too. So it's, I mean. It's a full time schedule. Like if I, if I didn't work, I wouldn't be training anymore. Gotcha. If that makes sense. Yeah. So I did want to ask: Could you explain where your uh, nickname "Party Time" came from? Oh shit, man. Uh, I mean, I'm fucking classified, brother. <laughs> it's <fucking> classified, man. <laughs> like okay. It. It's a good one. So I was curious, but That's all right. A fucking sick nickname. My coaches gave it to me. All right. Really. But, uh, yeah, no, I, they, I, I think they just put it on. Like, they told the announcer to say it. As, and then I was, like, walking out to the cage. I was like, oh, fuck yeah, man. This is sweet. <laughs> it's a good one. I like that nickname. I, I feel like you can't give yourself one. Uh, and I remember when I was first getting into it, they're like, what's your fight name? I was like, that sounds fucking lame. Like, what a fucking fight name? Uh, some people get fucking not flattering ones. But that that, I got lucky. Yeah, that, that's a good one. I feel like you definitely can't pick your own. I remember, I think I saw once, like, Habib originally picked Bad Boy for his. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, like, is that an ironic thing? Like, a big guy being called Tiny? Or, or like, there's a there's a thousand, like, Pitbull or uh, Gorilla variants. I don't yeah, even know, yeah. like, who would have the balls to... Like, you'll see, like, you'll see, like, a two and three fucking amateur, regional amateur, like, I'm a pit bull, man. <laughs> it's like, oh, man. I, I love the confidence. but Yeah, but I, I would definitely say you have one of the better ones. But back to fighting. <laughs> I did want to ask, what's your toughest fight so far, do you think? Shit. Um, maybe between Hamza Salim, that was my second pro fight, and then uh, probably maybe probably Budka. That makes sense. Have you been following Buka at all now that he's in the UFC too? Yeah, you got that short notice call for the contenders uh, with that South African dude. Mm-hmm. Which I thought that dude was going to be like a like a Izzy when I heard like six foot three like South African kickbox. I was like, oh fuck, man, this is going to be a like a fucking world ender. And then you looked at him, he just looked, looked like a kind of like a regular dude you'd see in like a bar, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Is that, is that fight with Buka something you'd want to run back if given an opportunity? I mean, I would, but 
I guess I rematches never really intrigued me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean? It made sense at the time. All right. So, yeah, let's pivot to the contender series now. I did want to ask, going into your last fight, did you know that it was something that might happen if you got a good win? Or I was hoping. I was hoping. I feel like once, uh, like, lighter weight guys, maybe they need a little more, but for the uh, – you know, have you guys you usually either hit like five and oh or like uh you know like seven two or something you know what i mean in that mm -hmm. over five wins and not more than a couple losses or if you get like a like a regional pro belt they usually call you but i wasn't sure what it was going to be i wasn't sure what organization uh or maybe if it was gonna be like a short notice ufc fight uh but contender series like this is the best like this is I ideal what I wanted. I didn't really want to jump in. I mean, I would jump in short notice, but I feel like you miss out on a lot of media. And, uh, you know, I, I've, I've had teammates jump in short notice mm -hmm. and go through contender series and you get a lot more shine doing the contender series route. Like the pay right off the bat isn't like, you know, it's, it's not a UFC contract, so it's not as good, but either it's more than made up for by, uh, you know, getting your name out there. Nice. You actually answered my my next question, which was going to be if you had a preference between short notice or the contender series. Oh yeah, man. Headlining a contender series card, there's going to be more eyes on it. But this is uh, like for this one or two prelims. Yeah, and I know a lot of people are super excited about this season of the contender series. So I do feel like there's going to be a lot of eyes on it. Yeah, no, they've been they've been a good job promoting it. Uh, I I didn't even know I was headlining until. Uh, I think it was like 302 or 303 they announced it on the uh thing i was bartending at the time they, they uh i got a bunch of texts from people i was like oh shit, sweet oh uh, you were working when you saw it yeah i, I was fucking i was working and uh, gotcha so could you talk a little bit about like when you found out where were you when you found out about the actual contender series like that you're going to be on it oh man that was probably like a week or so after my last fight so i've known for a while it's just uh we had to be kind of pretty under wraps about it and then we they flew us out for media probably six, seven weeks ago. I remember I was like nine weeks out from the fight. Mm -hmm. Are you over there in Vegas now or? No, I'm in Milwaukee right now. So when are you going to fly over, do you think? Uh, I think this Saturday. Gotcha. Which is nice. It, it, it's it's. It's nice, like I don't have to fly in like the, right the day before weigh-ins, because mm -hmm. that, that that can be a bitch. Like like the the flight's supposed to like uh, kind of fuck with the cut somehow, mm -hmm. like and, and you're, you're miserable too. So I, I'm glad I'll just be like man when I actually start my actual cut. Are you already cutting weight? I mean, I'm watching my weight and stuff. I mean, I feel like. Some people have to diet real hard to get down. Like I'm always pretty close naturally. Um, I just clear my guts out. You know, uh, high calorie, low uh, mass food, and then, you know, do the water cut. What everyone does. I feel like I only consider myself cutting if I'm really like cutting water or like, or, like not. I don't know. Like people say they're like cutting. Oh, I'm cutting like. Four weeks out, it's like fuck you, but you're dieting right now. You know what I mean? I, I I consider the cut once it's like I don't give a shit what calories this is. Like wait, 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 not drinking water, fucking getting down there. So so you fight close to natural weight? Close enough. It's not. It's 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 no big deal. Like I'll have five six hours of discomfort. Okay. And nice. So have you looked into your opponent at all? Yeah. Any thoughts on him? He's explosive, athletic as fuck. Um, good with like upper body throws and shit like that. Do you have like a specific game plan going into it that you're down to talk about or not? <laughs> yeah, not once again. That's classified. Classified information. Gotcha. Not, not that like people always have game plans and shit. But I, I guarantee mm -hmm. you, we'll get in there, start throwing fucking leather, and they'll hit the fucking road. Gotcha. And then uh, just one more question for me. Uh, let's say you're going to get that contract. You come out there, first round knockout or sub, either works. Dana gives you the contract. What's the ideal first opponent for you? Do you have one or do you not care? Um, I mean, I don't want to say I don't, I, I don't care, but uh, ideally it's more of a when than a who. 
Mm-hmm. As long as as long as I get a fight in this year, ideally before Wisconsin do the season. Uh, I mean, ideally it'd be someone that's in my same kind of boat, like we're in mm-hmm. the same spots in our careers. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, don't throw me to the fucking wolves right away. I mean, I'll do it. I'm desperate. I'll do anything. But uh, <laughs> yeah, give, give me give me someone that I can show my skills against. Gotcha. But all right, man, that's all I got for you. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for taking the time. Uh, good luck this weekend. Really looking forward to seeing you perform. And uh, before we head out, do you have anybody you want to shout out? Any sponsors? Whatever you want to do. You- uh, no, I don't have any sponsors or shit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I got this fucking mutt here. Oh, she's pretty cool. But that's it. What's their name? My name's Chi Chi. Chi Chi? Oh, yeah. Where'd that one come from? I don't know. My cousin gave it to us. It's actually my cousin's friggin' dog, but I've had it for like a year. He was <laughs> deployed for a while, and he's doing some training for the military. And so it's just been gotcha. in my house. But now I don't <laughs> want to give it back. So I don't know. I might, steal, I might steal a service member's dog. I might fucking do it. Who's gonna stop me? <laughs> Who the fuck's gonna stop me? <laughs> Probably nobody, man. Yeah, ideally nobody. <laughs> but all right, man. Thanks for thanks for coming on once again, and uh, have a good one. Good luck. Oh yeah, thanks. You too.